Look, you're thinking about making a move to Maryland. You've researched, you've looked at all the suburbs of Maryland because you don't want to live in downtown Baltimore and you've come across Harford County, Maryland. In this video today, I'm going to break down niche.com's recommendations for the top five places to live in Harford County, Maryland. So let's just jump into it. And we'll start out with number five on the list. And it's a town that I've mentioned, if you follow me here, on a, quite a few of my videos in the past, and it's Haverty Grace, Maryland. Now, why do I love Haverty Grace, Maryland? Well, it's easy to love Haverty Grace in reality. If you love the water, Haverty Grace is the spot you've got to be at. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you here real quick, and we're going to uh, go ahead and pull up Haverty Grace for you. This right here is Haverty Grace. So um, if we zoom out, You'll be able to see the drive down to Baltimore City from here to Haverty Grace can be anywhere from about 50 minutes to an hour. Okay, so just so you know that right out of the gate. Now, what's great about it is you can see that it is a waterfront community. So this river right here is the Susquehanna River, and this is the beginning of the Chesapeake Bay. Now, as we zoom in, here are some pictures of downtown Happy Grace. You've got so much that's going on in Happy Grace. Down here, right on the water, there is a boardwalk right here, basically from the boat launch ramp, actually more like Miller Tidings Park, all the way around to the lighthouse here. And it's beautiful. And, um, you know, let's just click on a, a few of these pictures here. I mean, this is the lighthouse right here. Now, some other things you'll love about Howdy Grace, it's very, um, it's got a great small town feel. And what I mean by that, homemade, um, not homemade, but um, family owned businesses like Bomboy's Homemade Ice Cream and Candies are located in Haverty Grace. Uh, there's some great places to eat here. For example, the Tidewater Grill is located right on the water. Check these pictures out, guys. Uh, I mean, I kid you not. This is, this is beautiful here. So here's Tidewater. And again, I'm just on Google Maps. You can go on over, you can see some of the dishes that they serve, but look at this view. Um, this is the um, Amtrak Railroad Bridge. So trains traveling up and down the railway from New York to Baltimore are going across the, the bridge here, but you're right on the Susquehanna River. Now, some other things that folks like about Haverty Grace. Uh, as I told you, um, if you haven't checked out my vlog on Habit Grace, that's going to give you a deeper dive into this. But they do something called First Fridays every uh, Friday from about the beginning of like roughly Labor Day through about November. And what they'll do is they'll actually close off the streets here. So basically right about here, um, as we zoom in, yeah, this is a good spot from pretty much Tidewater Grill all the way down Washington Street here, they close off the street in all these businesses. You've got a wine bar, you've got a brewery, uh, you've got some places to eat. It is a gigantic street party. So it is a ton of fun. Now, if we zoom on out, where do a lot of people live? Well, a lot of people live right in town in Haverty Grace which are the streets that you're seeing right here with all the businesses. Uh, there's a hospital in Haverty Grace, um, Hartford Memorial. But if you zoom out some, Haverty Grace really runs all the way up here to Interstate 95. So this is a this drive from roughly downtown Haverty Grace to 95 is maybe eight to 10 minutes. And then you have Bully Rock Golf Course. Now I've highlighted Bully Rock in the Havity Grace blog, um, rather the blog, make sure you go in there and check it out. But Bully Rock is a championship golf course. As a matter of fact, the LPGA hosted one of their events on the tour for years at Bully Rock Golf Course. And you can see how pristine it is. And I've played it multiple times and it is gorgeous. This is a picture of the clubhouse that someone's posted online here. This is the practice area here. Um, it's just beautiful. And if you see that, that right there, my friends, is the water um, at the um, 
on the Chesapeake Bay. So let's back out of Bully Rock here, but I do want to actually zoom in to Bully Rock right here to go to the overlook at Bully Rock. And again, I keep referring to the vlog and it's going to dive into more detail on this, but this is the clubhouse for the residents is at Bully Rock. This is a gated community. Now, you, if you can see my mouse cursor here, to the right of the clubhouse is the guard shack that will let you in and out of the community, uh, which is great. Um, that way you don't have solicitors coming in. People that shouldn't be there are not able to get in without a, a guest pass, a pin, or some other way to, to get into the property. Uh, it's great. Inside this clubhouse here, you have a full gymnasium, you have an indoor swimming pool, you have um, beautiful facilities. If you ever wanted to have, like, they have weddings there. Uh, if you wanted to have, um, uh, the, like, the Realtor Trade Show is there often. Uh, so the inside of this is pristine. And I don't expect anything less from the folks over at Bully Rock. And then you've got some tennis courts here. So uh, that is number number five on the list. Okay. And we're going counting down from five all the way down to number one here. So the second community, it is a community that I've never mentioned before, but before we jump into that, for those of you that don't know, my name is Adam Taylor. I run the living in Baltimore, Maryland channel here. We help folks from all over the world move or relocate right here to the Maryland area. And we're receiving phone calls days, nights, weekends, all the time folks looking to make a move here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, we just need you to reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or fan us down with that smoke signal, whatever you need to do. Hey, we got your back. We're moving right here to the Baltimore, Maryland area. So as we jump back into number four, as I mentioned, it is a community I've never spoken about a peep on any video. And it's a community of Riverside. Now Riverside is also known as Bell Camp. If you want to jot the zip code down, it's 21017. Now, if we go ahead and pull the map back up here, and I'll just get uh, the community loaded before I share my screen again with you. All right. So we've got Riverside here. Well, you can see Habity Grace was right here. Riverside is sort of centrally located, sandwiched between Interstate 95 and Route 40. Now, they both run parallel north to south. Now, why is niche.com pulling in Riverside? I think it's because in reality, Riverside is a popular area for folks that are relocating to work on Aberdeen Proving Ground. Aberdeen Proving Ground is the U.S. Army's military base in Harford County. It attracts so many folks that come to work here. And you can just see right here, Bell Camp to one of the gates here, which is right here uh, on 715. It's like a 10 minute drive, if that. So it's very convenient, but it is a small community in Riverside. Some, some of the good things and benefits of living in Riverside is that you pay into a, like a master homeowners association for the community. It's actually like a community association. And that gives you access to the swimming pool and all of the facilities that Riverside has to offer. You're going to um, come in uh, Route 543, pretty much bisects Riverside. You've got a few hotels along here. You've got a ShopRite uh, grocery store here. So all of your shopping is going to be right along this way. Um, right back in here, this is where Church Creek Road, the majority of the residential housing is. You're going to see all sorts of housing. You're going to see townhomes, a ton of townhomes, single family homes, and they're going to be economically priced right now. Out of the five areas that I'm going to mention here, Riverside by far is going to be the lowest cost community to live in. Now, as you go through here, you've got a mix of townhomes, condominiums, and single family homes all the way through. And you can see Church Creek just loops on over and comes right back out right by the community center here that you'll see right there. There's some pictures of the pool. Why don't we go ahead and pull that on up? So you've got this, you've got some swim leagues. I mean, it, they've done a nice job with it. I was just over there today doing some footage for you all. So I'll pop that in here. 
and they've got it shut down for the winter, but there's a lot of fun that happens um, over in the Riverside community. So uh, if you are in the military and looking for a great and convenient spot to work close to Aberdeen Proving Ground, uh, you definitely got to check out Riverside. There are quite a few renters in Riverside as well. So rentals are very prevalent in the area. Uh, some places that are really, really nice over on Riverside. It's right here. Um, the Water's Edge Event Center. So years back, believe it or not, this piece of property used to be called Beta Shoe Factory. And what happened is one of the developers came in and knocked it down, bought up all the waterfront land, by the way. And he built business buildings here. So these are like office suites. And he also built this event center. Um, matter of fact, my sister actually had her wedding here and they did a beautiful job in preparing the facility. Uh, that's not my sister, guys. <laughs> but you could see they've gone over the top with the preparations here. But where I'm getting at that is right here. The waterfront pictures that she had are stunning and they're beautiful. Now, let's head on back because here's the cool part. They actually have condominiums. They're pricey, my friends, but they do have condominiums here in Riverside. And it's these three buildings that you see right here on Water Park Drive. The condos, last time I checked, are probably going to be anywhere in 375 to 400, but the architecture inside is stunning. It is beautiful. You have barreled ceilings. You have... Um, so much woodworking detail inside these condomini uh, condominiums, you're sure to love it. So uh, we'll go ahead and stop the share there. But my friends, that is Riverside, Maryland, often referred to as Bell Camp, B-E-L-C-A-M-P. As we move on the list, I'm going to bring up an oldie and goodie. But if you're finding value in this video do me a favor hit that like button down below don't forget to leave a comment ask me any questions that you want about harford county maryland i know it well know it like the back of my hand so number three on our list is bel air maryland now why do i like bel air maryland well what's not to like about it it's centrally located right in harford county and i'll go ahead and pull it on up here by the way if you want we'll go ahead and uh put in the vlog that i did back Bel Air, Maryland. But if you need to be in the thick of things and you want to be in the center of town and pretty much from Bel Air, you can get anywhere in the county in about 20 to 30 minutes. So it's centrally located right smack dab in the center of Harford County. It actually is the county seat to Harford County, meaning that all of the courts and county office buildings, they are all inside Bel Air. So let's... Uh, do what we just did here and we'll share the screen. All right. So you all have a frame of reference. Here is Bel Air. From Baltimore to Bel Air, it's about a 35 to 40 minute drive. Bel Air technically starts here right about uh, down here where you see 24 and 924. This is Bel Air South, but you would get off Interstate 95, head up exit 77B to get to Bel Air. So what's in there? What's in Bel Air? We've got Upper Chesapeake Medical Center, which is our hospital, is right in Bel Air, right along here in uh, on Route 24. This is where all your shopping is. Uh, Motor Vehicle Administration, where you get your tags and do your driver's test, that is right here. They do a decent job in there, but don't wait till the end of the month, forget it. You're gonna wait forever to get your stuff done over at the Motor Vehicle. Uh, you've got Home Depot, Dick's Sporting Goods, um, Starbucks. Y'all like Starbucks, right? So uh, that is all in this area here. Now, the Harford Mall, uh, God bless the Harford Mall. Um, it is <laughs> almost non-existent. And um, it's sort of going through a, a resurgence here. And what I mean by that is the Sears that you see right here on the screen. They actually knocked it down. They cut pretty much where you see this white line here. They cut it off and knocked it down from the rest of the mall. And now they're rebuilding it with a high-end grocery store. I believe it's going to be a Harris Teeter. It's not finished yet, but they're putting not only that in, but they're putting a few other shops in pretty much as a last-ditch effort, in my opinion, to save Harford Mall. 
Now, as far as residential living goes, this is the center of a town where you're going to do all of your stuff and get your shopping and things done. But the residential living is going to be outside of, in reality, most of the area um, that's in red here. Uh, so areas over here by the Bel Air Middle School, you're going to have some residential homes over here, ton of residential homes uh, over here on the north side, as well as on the east side of Bel Air. Average price point for a single family home, you're probably looking on the low end, 400, uh, upper end, 900 plus, um, and everything in between. There's a whole mix of condos, townhomes, and single family homes to um, to fit all of your uh, housing needs. Uh, over here at Rockfield Park, this is a spot where they do the 4th of July fireworks. It's really nice. You do a great job with it. Uh, right over here, where was it here? Mom Pa Heritage Trail. I did feature that on my blog of Bel Air. So make sure you go in, you guys check out the um uh, the vlog we did it was great i took some trips up and down main street took you through a few communities so check it out um i'll put a little card in here so that you can easily click on that after the video is over but um that's bel air my friends uh it's a great spot to live and i would not hesitate sending anybody to live in any of the three areas that we've just mentioned here so we'll stop the share here before we get on to our Goodness, what's this going to be? This is going to be the fourth one that I'm telling you about here, but we're going up the list. And it's, again, another community that I've never mentioned before. And in reality, when I saw this pop up on the list, I'm like, what is niche.com talking about? The community that they mentioned is called Pleasant Hills. There is Pleasant Hills. And in reality, this is not... A town to live in. Pleasant Hills is not a town, my friends. Uh, there is no post office there. This is just, I guess, somehow, some way when Harper County was founded, this was a name that they came up with. But here is what is in this wedge shape place in Harper County. So you've got Joppa down here uh, where it says Clayton. That should actually be labeled Joppa. Um, 152, Route 152, Mountain Road is the way to get in here great um by the way great um uh, golf course here mountain branch golf course all of you golfers out there check it out beautiful course kind of will drive you nuts um because it is quite challenging but this stretch of road right here on bel-air road is nothing but businesses like it's you've got a walmart here you've got every car dealership that you can think of so you've got a ford dealership a honda dealership kia GMC, Jeep, Toyota, all of it. Now, this area right in here where 152 intersects Route 1, this is has, has been built up within the last five to six years. They went ahead and put a nice movie theater in. It's got the reclining couches in there. Um, matter of fact, you can even get a beer and watch a movie here. I kid you not. It's, it's fantastic, okay? Uh, Texas Roadhouse they put in. Amazing Mexican restaurant in Plaza, Mexico. And uh, the Barrel House, that will change names probably six times before you ever get to see here. This is one of those restaurants that always sort of shuts down for some reason and comes back as something different. Um, don't know why. It's just been that way for years. But all of your businesses, again, are located in this area. The small pocket of where people live in reality is right here off of like Stratford Road. So there's a Stonewall Daycare Center, which is a popular daycare center in the area right in here. And there's some additional uh, residential homes along Record Road, which is a, basically a cut through street to get over to Route 1, as well as Harford Road. And some additional residential homes. These are older homes. They're probably built in the 50s, 1950s through 1970s that are in this particular area. On Stratford, you're going to find some newer stuff towards the back, but some older homes in the front. One last thing before we wrap up here in Pleasant Hills, actually two things that I want to show you. You have access to, um, if your kids play sports, they're probably going to be over here at Record Road Park. 
quite a bit. It's a great little spot where you can see you've got baseball diamonds. Uh, one thing that this little park has that the others don't. No, that is not part of Record Road Park right there. A couple of pictures aren't correct here. But I, again, I was just over there today. I'll drop in some of the footage that I have, but they have a nice little playground uh, at the park. In addition to that, one thing that I love is, let's see if we can't find a picture of the parking lot. Ah, I'm not seeing one, guys. Man, there's definitely not a brewery there. <laughs> <laughs> go figure um but you never again i i am fact checking here on google but what they have is a volleyball court uh right here at record road court so if you are a volleyball player and you want to play sand volleyball you can do it right here and then the final spot that i want to highlight and show you is a spot that let's go back up here and get pleasant hills back up is right here is jerusalem mill now, this is a beautiful spot where you can have family pictures taken. A lot of the local photographers, this is one of the spots because everyone sort of wants that red barn in the back uh, backdrops of their family photos. Uh, but this is a part of the Gunpowder State Park. Um, I guess you could call it part of the Gunpowder State Park. And the stream and the um, uh, runs right through here. And some cool things that they do, some of the events that they do, they do a um, thing where it's almost like a Civil War reenactment of the workers in the Civil War. They don't have like battlefield things going on or anything to that effect, but they'll have like a blacksmith out there dressed up in attire from that era. And it's really neat. Uh, if you like nature trails and you want to go hiking, I highly recommend this spot. Um, it is, it's beautiful over here. And um in reality, like things slow down right here. Like the traffic comes to a crawl and the parking lot is always packed. So if, um, yeah, like check these photos out here. These are all the photos from the old buildings that are still there that they're preserving. This is not part of it. Neither is the Wawa, but um, yeah. So these are, some of these are decent photos. Look at the old, old, um, all the old buildings like this is on route one disregard that but my friends there you go that is pleasant hills average price point something in there you're going to be paying 500 plus uh for a single family home now we're coming up to number one again if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button that way you're alerted and notified every time we put out another video just like this one don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you do get that alert but um number one on the list here today it's one that i brought up recently and here is the proof my friends let's go ahead and show you niche.com i'm going to share it with you again here this is what they are saying here we go number one is falston maryland now, the big reason people like Falston, Maryland, right here, it's the school system. The schools, by far, in a way, are the highest ranked in Falston. And it has a relatively low population. That's because the lots are very spread out in Falston. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here on the screen for you. All righty. So again, standard operating procedure, my friends, we're going to jump in here from Baltimore to Falston, about a 40 minute drive. Okay. The great thing about living in Falston, as in Pleasant Hills and a lot of the places that I've shown you, Bell Camp, Bel Air, you have quick access to get down to Interstate 95 if you're working in the city or around the Beltway. Commutes with Falston, like if you got a job in Towson, which is Baltimore County's county seat over here, you can take the back roads down to get into Baltimore County. But let's dive into Falston. It is just north of Pleasant Hills. So you're going to have all the amenities that you had. All uh, The proximity of the shopping is going to be really easy in Falston. You can get to the Walmart. You can get to uh, grab a bite to eat at Texas Roadhouse. All of that is very convenient. 
Now in Falston, there's not much going on on 152, pretty much north of Route 1. There's a, a little shopping center um, that has a gym, hardware store, and one of my favorite restaurants in Harford County, Basta Pasta. If you guys like Italian food, uh, Italian food rather, you got to go check out Basta Pasta. I highly recommend the shrimp fra Diablo. It's uh, one of my favorite dishes there. Or the chicken parm, okay? Matter of fact, there you go. That's uh, where Basta Pasta is. But as we zoom in on this, Falston's got a lot more than just a, a nice place to eat in, in good schools. You've got a fabulous rec center that's um, just south of Youth Benefit Elementary. It is in, re yeah, it's right here next to it. So um, this is the rec center right here. It looks like this might be a 360 degree photo. Let's see if we can't turn around. Here, here we go. Look at that. So um, that's like the repair facility. The football field is down here. And then um, the activity center that you can go in <clears throat> and community center is right here. So let's back out of that. But you've got uh, Youth Benefit Elementary, my friends. I don't know why this guy put his truck in front of this beautiful new school, but it, it is the elementary school that just got redone in Harford County. It's beautiful. It took them years to do it, but it looks really good. You have the library down, down here off of 152. Everything is going to be right off of 152. Another Italian restaurant a little further up here. And, you know, most of the residential housing is going to be right off of this Route 1, or I'm sorry, 152 corridor. And these are big homes. Now, I'm going to put some video on here right now. But... As I, I went into this community here, Willowvale, it is beautiful. You're going to see the homes in here, but this is typical Falston living. The homes in this community here go anywhere from $750,000 on up. And I think seven fifty dollars is kind of cutting it cheap. But with the housing mark, market in the you know state that it's in, that's probably a good starting point. But expect anywhere from seven fifty dollars to a million plus in this particular community. So my friends, look, those are niche.com's top five places to live in Harford County, Maryland. So if you are looking to make a move to Maryland and you want to check out one of these places, look, my team and I, hey, we would love to help you out with your transition, but we need you to raise your hand and reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or fan us down with that smoke signal, whatever you need to do. Look, we got your back when moving here to Maryland from Baltimore down the bay to the beaches in Ocean City. We got you covered. Till the next video, we'll catch you later.